Hi fam bam, hi leaders, it's MJ here and today I'm super excited to share with you my favorite productivity tools. So before I get started with this video, I wanna tell you guys nothing on this video is sponsored, nothing. So if you guys know any of these brands or any of these apps that I'm sharing and y'all want to sponsor me, I'm in because I use this stuff every single day and every single day I've got so much to do. You guys know that when it comes to managing like everything in life, like, oh my gosh, Becky, look at all that stuff. There's so much stuff that we have to micromanage and it's so easy to get stressed and overwhelmed, like trying to deal with all of this. And I know you guys know this, like a lot of you guys are out there hustling, you're starting businesses, you have jobs, you got families, you're starting a new life and you're trying to really conquer and level up and do be the greatest that you can be and I commend you for that. So I hope that by the end of this video, I can help a brother or sister out and you can maybe learn one, if not a few productivity tools that can really elevate your situation and your productivity. So the first tool that I live on day in day out is like my Google Calendar or iCal if you're a Mac user. I love this thing so much. Like for the longest time, it's pretty much all I used. And then I learned that I could be more proficient if I use other things for other things. Like I used to like schedule my workouts and my meditation time and like my builds and like everything on my calendar. And that's how proficient that you can be with just this one app. But what I love about Google Cal or iCal is that you can sync it up with your phone, with your computer, you can access it online, you can get to it any time of the day. So there's like no way that you can forget things. You can set alarms, you can set, I mean, I'm probably preaching to the choir. This is like 101. Everybody has a calendar, right? And if you're still using those daily planners, cool, I love you. It's really cute. I love writing and making things pretty, so I totally get it. But like being able to digitalize has really leveled up my productivity and I resisted it for a really long time, like a really long time. But this has helped me out tremendously. And since everybody uses it, it's really easy for them to schedule a meeting with you and you just click I accept and it just updates all your calendars and your meeting time is scheduled, pow. Number two is my alarm clock, my built-in alarm clock on my iPhone. You guys know that I talk a lot about setting alarms, setting time limits, setting your schedule, like even when it comes to drinking water, I use my alarm clock all the time. I use it to tell me when to wake up, when to sleep, when to drink my water, when to take my five minute breaks, my five minute move sessions, et cetera, throughout the day even when to take my vitamins, yes. So anytime I need to remember something, I schedule that alarm clock like crazy and I love it and I use it all the time. The third thing on my list that I have used for a while and then went away from because I was doing my list in a notebook, like I said, I've been resistant to, like I like to handwrite things, but I've moved over to Trello recently. Trello is brilliant. It's absolutely genius. I love it because of all the options, your ability to share, everybody can leave notes. So like I can share like a work calendar with my husband and he could be like, well, this client left this note here and he could stick it there. We can have like something on a to-do list. Like you have your check, what is it? Checklist, like what is it called? You have like your board and then you have like all your to-dos and those to-dos can open into like smaller checklists. You can have a description, you can have an alarm, you can have a due date, so many things. You can resurrect these out of the archives and that happens a lot because we have projects with clients that are ongoing, that have multiple steps and so many things. And so to take that off of paper, and I've done everything on like project sheets on a paper and I still do those project sheets, but to take a lot of it off and be able to be like, hmm, What's this project cost? Like, when's it due? Like, what's all the notes? And to just like pop that up on Trello is just tremendously helpful. So I use Trello for personal and business, and it just really simplifies all these complicated components of each individualized to-do or project all into one. So I absolutely recommend Trello. The next thing I actually utilize is my Excel spreadsheets. You guys have seen, um, if you have downloaded any of my free like energy trackers, uh, exercise trackers, I got money trackers, like all on Excel. And I used to do this on graph paper and I liked to color it in, but it took so much time and energy. And so I can just customize Excel. And then I don't have to erase, like I just change a color and 
you'll, I'll throw it up on the screen so you see an idea of what I'm talking about. And I like to track things to get a good idea of where my health or mental perspective was. Like last week, I was so crazy, like not in the best mood. And then I realized that I didn't really exercise all week. So <laughs> I can't like blame anybody but myself there. And so full accountability, right? Full responsibility because it's my responsibility to elevate my life and make sure that I'm doing the things that I need to do to support that. The next thing I love is QuickBooks. QuickBooks was really hard for me to merge onto. Like a lot of new entrepreneurs, I've used Excel for such a long time, but then when we turned into a corporation, I was sort of forced into this QuickBooks thing. But QuickBooks is awesome. Like it syncs up with your account. It, can, it tells you every day what you spent on. You just bring your receipts and then you just like snap a picture of it and it just like uploads and you're like, I approve it. Like I spent that money. Yep, this is what it was for. And so you just like drop down the category, take a picture of your receipt, hit accept, and it's done. And it's so different than like having to like type everything out, like time, date, payee, like how much you spent, what you spent it on. Like it's just so much more proficient to do this accounting wise and to manage your money spent, especially when you're running a business. So I love, love QuickBooks. Number six on my list is Dropbox. I use Dropbox for everything. A lot of people use like iCloud or like some I like cloud backup sync to their phone. I use Dropbox. As long as I have Dropbox open, when it's connected to Wi-Fi, it syncs all of my photos. The only bad side to that is if like, have you ever taken like 10 photos trying to get the right angle and then you end up picking the one that you like, like you put a little heart on it and then you delete all the other ones. If that uploads to Dropbox and you delete all the other ones, you have to sort it out later again in your Dropbox folder. So make sure that if you're trying to take a bunch of different angles, like if you're doing selfies or like whatever, delete the ones that you don't want before, <laughs> before it syncs up to Dropbox when you get home. Uh, but I use Dropbox also for work. I use Dropbox to send files. Like if there are files that I want to access when I'm away, whether I'm traveling or I just want to make sure that I have access to it, like my project sheets, I put it on Dropbox. And I can't tell you like today it happened where we left the project sheets at home and we were out on a shoot for work. And we were like, uh, what were we supposed to do again? Like we remembered all five shots but what was the sixth photo that we were supposed to take? And I just get on my phone, get on Dropbox and open the project sheet and it's there. And then it's like, okay, wonderful. And that's just, I just love Dropbox. I love the, I love technology. Like I love digital life. This is awesome. Like thumbs up for awesome digital life because we're so much more productive today than we were in the past. And we don't have to hire people to do this. Like a lot of this stuff is free or really, really cheap. So number seven on my list is scheduling apps like Later later.com. I am a social media person. And so later just makes my life so much better. Like to be able to sit down and think, and normally what I do is I do like two days of posts every single day. And it just allows me to be really present with my posts. Cause I'm not just like posting on the go, you know, like I can make sure that what I'm sharing with you for that day is really relevant. It saves it, it allows me to time it, like maybe I don't wanna post it right now, like maybe I wanna come back to it later and just make sure that I can reread it and actually like speak clearly my mind and like the message that I'm trying to share. Um, if I'm on vacation, I don't have to worry about posting, I can get ahead on post. And so it just makes my life really easy. Um, if you are on social media, I highly recommend checking out scheduling your stuff. I know that some of you guys are in my freedom program and we talk a lot about productivity when it comes to starting your own business. So this is a really great thing. And there's a whole bunch like later Hootsuite, Schedulegram, et cetera. There is also a I T T T I F T T T. Is that right? I'm going to stick the link below. There is this, I mean, if this, then that website that was really cool too, that has similar effects where you can link certain uh, websites or apps. And if something happens, then this happens and you automate it. I don't really use that site, but I know people who do and absolutely love it as a productivity tool. And it's kind of like a scheduling app, I feel like, because it just sort of automates it for you. So the last thing on my list is apps like Mint and Clarity. I love mint or clarity or even like every dollar. I think that's Dave Ramsey's and I love Dave Ramsey. If you guys don't know, I love his approach and his perspective on money. 
I don't practice it all exactly the way he does, but it's pretty damn cool. So mint and clarity is a great way to like just have parameters. What I really use them for is I set the budget limits. And then if you go over your budget or you're getting close to your budget, it sends a notification that says, yoo-hoo, you're like close to your restaurant budget and you're only two weeks into the month. And so it lets you have a lot of um, clarity. And because I've been tracking my budget, we bought something on Shutterstock Shutter, yeah, shutterstock.com. And then I went to check and make sure like all the charges were there. And then I noticed there was another charge. And I was like, we didn't buy two things, we bought one. Luckily I called Shutterstock and this is just a shout out thank you to Shutterstock because they've earned like my applause and my gratitude because I called them and I was like, wow, I didn't realize that I was on this automated plan that charged me 80 bucks every single year for the last like three years and I haven't been using it. So is there any way you can refund me? And they did, they refund me for that charge. And I was super, super thankful since I wasn't using it. But if I wasn't tracking my expenses, then I would have never known. And Clarity has, Clarity Money has the app that's like, hey, you're spending this much reoccurring. And so they show you all the reoccurring bills that you have and it's really easy to see. So I love tracking my expenditures that way instead of doing cash. Sorry, Dave Ramsey, I know. Anyways, those are my eight top productivity tools. I hope you guys enjoyed them. If you guys have any productivity tools that just like elevates your life and makes wonders like I would love to know stick them in the comments below please and if you're looking for more productivity in your life or a way to simplify the next couple steps that you can take to really elevate your time and energy sign up and apply for a free 20 minute consultation with me and if I choose you you're gonna hear back from me so I still have space for that or some opening space to do a few more so check that out and I will see you guys in the next episode. Ciao.